photography uses light and lenses to capture and print an object. In photolithography, we use light and lenses to capture and print an object in a semiconductor manufacturing setup. Complex patterns are printed in a small area by shining light onto a mask, onto a lens, creating a pattern on the photosensitive material. This process is repeated to complete the printing. We need a light source to print. The light source comes in different wavelengths and with a different energy. The longer wavelengths are associated with the lower frequency means lower energy. Shorter wavelengths are associated with higher frequency means higher energy. It is just as simple as a white brush is good for painting a wall. A pen is better to sign a check. The light source is a typically high intensity lamp such as a mercury vapor lamp or an excimer laser which emits light in a specific wavelength to print. For transistors large in size we use the white brush. The light that we are talking about is ultraviolet light which is invisible light. There are two kinds of light, one is deep ultraviolet and another one is extreme ultraviolet. Photoresist. It's a light sensitive chemical used in photolithography to transfer a pattern onto a substrate by undergoing a chemical change when exposed to light. There are two main types of photoresist, positive and negative. In positive photoresist, the exposed areas to be removed, leaving behind the desired pattern. In negative photoresist, the unexposed areas are removed to create the pattern. Multi patterning technology is the use of a multiple mask and process steps to create a single pattern. Patting is carried out by using four slits on a single mask. Unfortunately, the resulting pattern is corrupted since the slits are too close to each other. With MPT, two masks are used to create the pattern. As shown in figures B and C, the four slits are divided into pairs with a wider space between slits. By patting with two masks and steps, light interference and distortion are avoided and we can successfully create a clean pattern. OPC. OPC is to adjust mask patterns. During the photo and etching steps, the inherent properties of light can cause patterns on a wafer to be thicker or thinner than the mask pattern. In severe cases, patterns may either completely disappear or merge with adjacent patterns. OPC is used to add or remove shapes on a mask to compensate for those patterning errors. While air of light comes directly from laser, UV light is created by first shooting a CO2 laser at falling tin to generate plasma. The light from the plasma is then focused using mirrors to produce UV light. The downside using shorter wavelength is that the light is easily absorbed while passing through air and lenses. The UV lithography processes solves issues by operating with the mirrors in a vacuum. Minimizing light absorption is crucial to providing sufficient light for PR patterning. What about absorption by the mask? Unlike a conventional mask with other areas that either transmit or block light, the mask for the UV process is made up of areas that either reflect or absorb light. Let's summarize. First, UV light is generated by heating a tin with a CO2 laser and focusing the plasma with mirrors. The UV light is then reflected through mirrors to the mask. The light pattern is then focused reflected multiple times to reduce the pattern size before it arrives at the PR on the wafer. Let's look at the difference between DUV lithography versus UV lithography. The light source of DUV lithography is a laser, but whereas the UV generator is plasma. AR of uses lens while UV uses mirrors. And finally, AR of mask transmit or block light while UV mask reflect or absorb light. UV technology makes it possible to replace or reduce the UC MPT since it can pattern thin patterns with a single mask and single photolithography process. UV reduces cost through the reduction of mask, process steps, and processing time. With fewer process steps, UV also reduces cost by improving yield. Semiconductor geometries tend to grow smaller and smaller. The adoption of UV lithography technology has become extremely important as it enables scaling down of intricate patterns on wafers by providing an optimal and efficient choice for next generation applications. Thank you.